Hello everyone, it is June 29th of 23 and at a thick tasting review this time it is Nero 600 this variety was found at a, a high altitudes in Italian Alps at the 600 meters there therefore the name Nero I think the place was uh, or a village perhaps was that by that name and uh, they also could be a synonym for Valle Negra and uh, it is also similar to Violet de Bordeaux and I can see that uh, similarity in the petioles of the leaves they are also pinkish in color see right there this particular tree I was not as productive um, because of the late pruning and uh, only had one fruit main crop however it looks really good and I will pick and show you the taste review indoor since it is about to rain in here All right. Okay, very, very nice. Sweet, but not too sweet. Just about perfect. So, with these varieties, they have pronounced um, figgy, what they call flavor, or I always think of a black mulberry uh, um, that to me is the figginess in the flavor that comes so mixture of some berry flavor but mostly that uh, mulberry black mulberry not as much uh, of a, even of a berry as much as uh, that figginess it is a it is a complex flavor you know you can pretty much uh, um, taste some uh, blackberries for example this dark uh, fruit and uh, mix with uh, some honey yeah you get all that together and you will get Nero 600 I would say that this one is about 24 25 maybe uh, this dry fruit somehow sometimes will trick me I would think that they are not as ripe and they they prove to be even more zeroed You can see that there is not much of a nectar in here. At least it's not visible. Now once I start kind of pulverizing, breaking apart these individual acinies, now we can see that uh, juiciness, jamminess becomes obvious. Let's take a nice glob of this jam. And let's take a look. And let me read it. Yeah, it is 25 and almost 25 and a half. So I was correct with this one. Yeah. Nero 600, again, good variety, good taste. Uh, has everything that you need in a fig if you're gonna 
grow fig especially perhaps in the ground in the colder climates um, but even for container culture like what I'm doing this is an excellent variety.